Are you serious? Are you serious? Get some coffee, everybody, and calm down. But the solar winds right now are enormously, outrageously fast. Right as we speak, 663,000 kilometers per second. That is more than double the normal wind speed. And there's a gaping hole in the sun's atmosphere so that these winds are blowing right through that gaping hole. Nothing to slow them down, nothing to prevent strong CMEs and uh, UV rays. And they're earth facing, so they're coming right at us, okay? Right at us. So, having said that, we got to keep a close eye here on um, uh, where we go from here. Uh, and the reason I say that is these. Uh, this is dangerous. And I mean, the pressure on the earth right now is absolutely very, very strong. Remember, there's a nine day uh, period here, but there's five days that are really critical. This is day three um, of that. And we need to five day window. And here it is. The speeds are enormous. The pressure is building. Now, this morning, we've had some activity. We've had a 4.7 earthquake in the Philippines a 4.9 in Japan, a 5.2 in New Zealand, and a 4.9 in Fiji, and a 4.3 in Greece, okay? No, nothing major. I mean, we had that 7.2, uh, you know, uh, a, day, a day and a half ago that uh, hit over there near Fiji. But the pressure's enormous. The wind speeds are incredible. It's earth-facing. If there was ever a ticking time bomb situation for a major mega quake, it's right now during these next three days. And uh, matter of fact, um, while this is happening, uh, NOAA forecasters are estimating a 65% chance of a G1-class geomagnetic storm on January 5th, which is today. As the Earth moves into a stream of fast moving, is that today, January 5th? Or is today, January 4th? Yeah, okay. As the Earth moves into a stream of fast moving solar wind, the, sound, the source of the wind is a large hole in the sun's atmosphere, like I said, and the Arctic sky watchers should be alert for auroras tonight, okay? So it's, it's, it's critical. G1, geoman, uh, a, a G1 class geomagnetic storm, that's one thing. But the possibility of earthquakes from the pressure is another. And we really have to take a look at uh, the auroras. Of course, we've already been spotting them. They've been extremely uh, incredible, really spectacular to look at, but still not good for us, okay? So uh, we're going to keep a close eye on this. I mean, it's... it's, it's um, it's a time. Let's pray. I mean, and here's the thing. We already know there's going to be earthquakes in divers' place. We already know there's going to be some large quakes, and there's going to be some mega quakes. These things are prophesied in your Bible to take place. I guess what I'm saying is we have to just pray. Pray for people in different spots of the world that are very prone to this. I mean, you got to worry about, you know, several of these fault lines and, and, um, and know that they're ticking time bombs. And... People need to be prepared. People need to be uh, ready. Uh, we know things are going to happen uh, in these last days. And our job is to pray one for another. And so hang on, okay, because the earth is definitely going to be shaking and quaking. The devil's back. Got to be breaking. The birthing pains of this end times are certainly upon us. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Let him become the Lord of your life. Be saved by his grace and mercy, and live in the blessing. Look, this is a year of chaos, but it's also a year of great blessings for the body of Christ. And uh, it's time. It really is time to make that commitment because we're living in a time so, vol so volatile right now that we know the Lord is coming soon. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy in just a few moments.